Hi and welcome back to Bloxy. In this video, we will check out the customization options that are available by default for the post archive section of your website. We will try to note down every option possible, so follow along. To get started, simply access our Bloxy customizer with the button up top the menu bar. The customizer has a nice live preview option. So be sure to also navigate to the blog section of your website to see the changes in real time. The first option that is presented is the blog title section, which controls the hero container at the top of the page. You can easily disable or enable the whole section from here using the little toggle. Diving deeper into the menu reveals a couple of styling options. Here you have two general design options for the section. Type 1 offers a standard by the books look where information is cleanly presented on the page, while Type 2 offers a beautiful edge to edge layout with a gorgeous background picture of your choice. Continuing, we have the elements options, which let you show things such as the title, excerpt, and breadcrumbs inside the hero section. Each of these elements can be expanded and customized further, as well as show or hide them individually using the little eye icon here. We will continue, but please note that some of these options are only available if you use the type 2 look. Right, so next up, we have the alignment options, which let you align the content inside the hero container. You can make adjustments on both the horizontal and vertical axis. The container width option is useful in case you have more information displayed inside the hero section, which will let you contain it to a narrower width if that's your case. Arriving at the container background image part, which is very interesting. It lets you set a customized background image for the hero section or simply disable the image to get a pastel look using the design tab. More on that in a bit. There is also an option to select the featured image, which lets you control what image is displayed via the Gutenberg editor when editing the blog page. The image size option refers to the file that will get loaded when the page is displayed. We recommend keeping this on full size to ensure the picture looks great on any kind of device. Lastly, the image parallax effect enables a nice scrolling animation for the image making the page feel more alive and interactive. Last but not least, there's the container minimum height option, which will let you set a specific size for the hero section of the page. On to the design tab, and here we find some more granular controls for fonts, colors, and more. For example, you can modify the title font properties as well as for the other elements. Remember we spoke earlier about some pastel colors. Here you can set a nice overlay color for the featured image, which makes for a very interesting and playful look. There's also an option to set the background colors or patterns or gradients in case that you do not wish to display an image. The possibilities are endless here. Let's not forget about the padding options, which lets you customize the spacing of the container further. And now that we're done with the page title options, it's time to go back and check out the others as well. The blog structure section lets you customize the general look of the blog cards. We offer five different options here, which should be more than plenty for getting started. The first one offers a simple look with wide cards that sit on top of another as you scroll down the page. The classic layout brings back the old feel of the blogging world, where everything was nicely laid out on the page with big, bold pictures. Our grid option offers a very familiar look, where every blog post is encapsulated in a little card that presents the information at a glance. The Gutenberg layout gets inspired by the standard WordPress look, pretty simple stuff here. Now, each layout has different settings that can be found under the Card Options section. To take note of a few, we'll switch back to the grid layout. The grid layout has three different styles. Simple cards offer a very clean look. Boxed, 
takes the information and encapsulates it into a separate card for each post. With Cover, a very nice design which replaces the card background with the featured image of the post. The Card Elements is a familiar section where you can customize what elements show up inside a block card. The title, featured image, some post meta information, the excerpt, a read more button to engage with your visitors, and more. Each of them can be toggled on or off, as well as rearranged. Next, we get some card spacing controls. The gap between the cards lets you separate them into a cleaner view, as well as the padding inside each card. Alignment options are also here, so you can arrange the content to your heart's content. And finally, let's check out the Design tab, which is also present for duty. Here you can choose between font controls, colors, and more for each card element. Depending on the card look, though, there might also be some additional options present, such as overlay colors, background colors, borders, and shadows. And almost reaching the finish line, we have a few more options to check out. Moving on to the page elements section, and here we can modify the general layout of the page, such as turning on the sidebar on both the left and right sides, as well as some nice pagination options. As an example, we have options that let you choose what kind of pagination you want implemented. Choices available here are standard, which employs a classic look with the number of pages at the bottom, and next slash previous buttons, next slash prev, removes the numbers at the bottom for a simpler look, while load more and infinite scroll use Ajax to automatically load the next page of posts without refreshing the browser, making for a seamless experience. And the last option that might be present for you is the Cards Reveal effect, which offers a smooth animation as you scroll down the page and new cards come into view. And that's a wrap. The customization options are really simple and organized in such a way that it makes sense for advanced developers and new users alike. We're confident that the choices available here should cover pretty much all kinds of setups. But if you need something more advanced, be sure to check out our Bloxy Pro template replacement engine videos, which are linked down below. And as usual, if you have any questions or simply want to share something with us, we'll be waiting on your message at creativethemes.com through the support section. Until next time, take care and have a good one.